Hi, it's Ingrid. I am going to kind of go through, stitch together a few videos and show you what my pole workout looks like with my leg in its boot now, but not weight bearing. So I have a bench and I've got, I, I have a functional trainer, but you could do these with resistance bands also. Um, but I keep my leg elevated a little bit up on this stool, something firm, not the not the knee scooter because it's gonna gonna roll around and I do need help to set the bench up and um, to adjust some of the things just because I can't put weight on so you know it's, but it's good if you have a partner or someone to just help you out with that but I'm just going to show you my cable my cable pull um, non weight bearing I've got my right foot braced to help me and then I'm just and my non weight bearing leg is happy as a clam and I'm getting I'm continuing to keep my muscle mass so um, I guys we'll see you on the next exercise my next uh, exercise on my pull day is a lap pull down um, once again the leg is elevated on the stool my other leg is is braced here and I just grab my handles here and again, you can do this with resistance bands if you have an anchor point. And I will do about six sets of those um, to give myself a, a good workout. Not only does it work the muscles, but you know, when you do six sets, it raises the cardio. And since I can't do any other cardio activity, lifting the heavier, heavier weights raises my heart rate. And that all helps with keeping blood clots away and the circulation and the wound healing and everything else. See you in the next exercise. So I'm on my next exercise, which is a single arm lat pull down, very similar to the last one I did but exercises the muscles just a little bit differently and it helps keep um, the arms kind of equal strength because I'm working them individually. The benefit of, of this, again, you can do it with a resistance bar. I'm doing it with my functional trainer and you can look on Facebook Marketplace and find people selling used equipment all the time also. Um, but I'll just go ahead and show you this. If you do it with a resistance band, just a tall anchor point sitting, and once again, my leg is comfortably resting. And I just do a few with each arm. So at this point in the workout, one of the benefits of the exercise, especially as we're sitting with our leg up 23 hours a day, one of the great benefits is a mental benefit because you're starting to feel the, the endorphins and the feel good stuff going on while you exercise. And so your mental health gets a boost when you're like, like just stuck doing not much with a, with a bum leg recovering from surgery. So exercise is a big plus. See you next set. So we just finished a bunch of uh, repetitions of the uh, lat pull down. And we're going to move on to the row that I've got set up. And again, you can do this with uh, resistance bands. If you've got a pole or something, wrap the band around and you can do it rowing and you can even do it in a chair. You don't have to have the whole bench set up. I've adjusted myself here. I'm a little bit farther back on the bench. I got my legs still up on my bench and, and my weight is set up. So I am just going to uh, show show you how you do it. My right foot, which is a good foot, is just braced a little bit. Um, and then I'm just resting, making sure not to put any weight through my left foot. And I will do like five or six sets of this. See you next exercise. Okay. So here we are, um, I've shifted a little bit. I used to do these uh, dumbbell curls with the machine, but I haven't figured out a good way to, to do them without putting any weight. 
So I've got my leg elevated. I just grabbed a dumbbell. Um, you could grab a gallon of milk or whatever you would like. Um, and I'm just sitting so you can sit in your chair, make sure your leg, leg's up, make sure the dogs are all out of the way. Oh, Gracie. <laughs> you know, and then just lift. Sure, you get the other side. This side's just a little bit harder because my leg feels like it's in the way. You know, I, got, I might try to adjust a little bit, but you know, here it's just a little bit harder of good form. But my theory is I'm lifting something, and you know, I'm not like killing myself with the weight. And I will usually do uh, five, six sets of these, and I will see you next exercise. Well, as you can see, I've transitioned to floor. I have a video that I made a few days ago about how I do that. Look that up if you want to see how I do that. But here I am on the floor, and I'm on a mat. And my next exercise is called a Dumbbell Superman. Don't start with dumbbells if you haven't done it before. Um, you can uh, just do it without dumbbells. If you do it without dumbbells, all you're basically doing, as you can see, my leg is non-weight bearing, is you're lifting everything up like that. And then when, you want, when that gets too easy, you can uh, add dumbbells. Um, three pounds, five pounds, one pound, whatever you want, work, work, work your way up. Um, I'm going to try five. It's a little bit hard for me, but you know, we got to challenge ourselves to get strong, right? exercise works so many muscles except the foot that you're resting it does not work the foot that you're resting and my dog endorses this exercise <laughs> see you next exercise so we finished those dumbbell supermans and I turned over and I'm gonna do leg raises now the boot is new um, and it's actually quite heavy and I thought about whether I wanted to add a weight here to make it feel the same, but I decided that I'm going to help support this leg with this foot. So when I do my leg raises, I'm gonna rest this leg a little bit in this foot so that they're both carrying some of the weight of the boot because the boot is super heavy. And, um, but leg raises, non-weight bearing, and the leg is elevated half the time. <laughs> Here we go. Note how I'm resting my boot with the other good foot. Kind of hard. <laughs> I'm done with the set. 
I just rest my leg in a nice elevated <laughs> position. I will do five sets of 20 for 100 leg raises. Core strength, so important when you're riding, running around on your scooter or your crutches or getting in and out of bed or anything, it's gonna keep you from falling. That is my first of three workouts on cycling through. I call it my pull workout. I'll share others, my push on my leg day um, later. Take care, God bless. You can do all things through Christ who gives you strength.